contingent of uh, match officials out with both teams and uh, Maruga FC in the yellow top and white bottoms will be coming up against Defense Force. Very similar ish the uniforms this evening. Of course, uh, fluorescent tinge to that of Maruga. What a scored two goals in their last fix there. 5 2 defeat to Central FC in their last game, Maruga FC. And it was Kovel Jeremiah, one of the players to be among goals in that competition. They've got a mix of young players and uh, some experience. We will introduce you to the lineups in uh, just a bit. So it's all to play for this evening. The team from the Western Peninsula coming up from coming up against the team from Deep South in Trinidad, Maruga FC. It's, it's, a, it's going to be tough for the Maruga team, but they're going to give it their all. I have no doubt about that. That they are going to be running hard at the defense force players. It's a matter of whether they can keep their nerve. And the defense force always are going to be tough to beat. So Tishon Dillion and Curtis Gonzalez, the captains of both teams. One with significant international experience. Gonzalez coming up against uh, Dillion. And uh, exchange of pleasantries. I know it will be a tough battle tonight, but another five goals in the second half and uh, let's have a, a quick look at the highlights there is the ball going wide to sam he's gonna send the cross in and header from garcia one nil and that was the start of the defense force they had a, a 15 20 minute period where they were swarming all over and this is the ball to sam from boatswain and he just tucked it away from the keeper. That's a wonderful goal from Brent Sam. A lovely bit of movement, and his finish was exceptional. So that was then 2-0 for the defense force. The Maruga had a, one or two little chances. That was Jeremiah. He was the player for me for Maruga. He had a, a, a little bit of an opening. But then goal number three, Boatswain running onto it, and the keeper unfortunately went under him and into the back of the net. Good run from Boatswain. The ball sent through by Brent Sam, and uh, there was Boatswain. Keeper would not be happy with that. Should have uh, been able to stop it. Went under him and into the back of the net. So half time, it was three goals to nil, and more of the same in the uh, second half. The ball given away, and the shot going uh, deflecting there is the referee uh, indicating that it was a half time and we into the second half sadhu with the first corner just headed wide and um, duncan really happy about that but um, more was to come in terms of the goals the ball crossed from sam and more should have done better rion more coming in at the far post uh, you have to think that he should have put it away as Brent Sam then playing a ball to Lee. Good ball, sent across. The keeper didn't hold on to it. It dropped out of his hand and into the back of the net. There was Lee getting the ball from Sam, sent the cross straight to the keeper, and he fumbled with it, and it was goal number four. Then another cross ball, this time to Sam from Lee, and he put it away beautifully. One time as it came across him he just hit it on the first attempt and put it into the back of the net and it was now what five nil the corners then came in sadhu with the corner and headed into the back of the net there by jamali garcia he came on as a substitute and headed it into the back of the net jamali garcia that was a six goals to nil then another corner from Sadhu. The header went towards the far post. Blackman, who came on as a substitute, made it seven goals to nil. He also got on the score sheet there, all alone at the far post uh, to make it seven nil. And then the final goal, another 
corner and headed in this time by Brent Sam, the man of the match, fitting end for his hat trick and the eighth goal from the defense force. And that was all she wrote. A really a convincing victory from defense force. And let's have a look at this stats. It would be very one sided. 30 shots from defense force to four from Maruga, 20 shots on target. And you have to wonder how they only scored eight goals. Fouls, five to three, the yellow cards, uh, two for the defense force, no red cards. Um, the corners, eight to one, another very lopsided. And look at the saves, 12 saves from Duncan from Maruga and just three for Bigot from defense force. So a convincing victory, eight goals to nil from defense force. Let's go down to, to James. He's got the man of the match, Brent Sam, with him. Well, certainly I've got the man of the match, Brent Sam. And Brent, you started this game with two goals, you left with five. How does that feel? I feel great, you know. Feels great, feels great. What, what do you think uh, worked for your team tonight? Well, keeping the width, making the field as wide as possible. That worked for us tonight. Well, you're the younger brother of Hector Sam, a prolific striker himself. Yeah. What do you say to Hector right now that you're banging in the goals? Well, I'm the better one now. He had his time, so, yeah, basically. <laughs> Now, uh, Maruga FC, uh, Rian Moore missed out tonight, but you've got a fluid attack between yourself and Rian. Do uh, you think you've got the best combination in attack for the, um, in this competition? I'll say, yeah, because it's three be, um, national players, so we come in together and we score in goals. And uh, you started in third place. You must be keeping your eyes on the next Rangers. Yeah, well, we're working hard, you know, taking it game by game, picking up the points. And come victorious. So. Well, thank you very much, Brent Sam, and uh, you can enjoy that trophy as our man of the match. Blessings, thank you, man. Thank you so much. All right, so.